we're sort of beach sailing here for sea trout. Hopefully we'll get a few and try and check them for any parasites. We sort of sample in this location every year, two or three times. Trying to get a total of about 30 fish. Yeah, you've got a real shoal this time. They're beautiful, aren't they? So you're going to measure them first, are you? Yeah, so what we do is um, put them into some anaesthetic. Right. Just to calm them down so yep. we can handle them. Yeah. We weigh them. Yeah. Length them. Yes. And then we'll um, just go over them in this area here just to see how many lice they've yep. got. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I wouldn't expect too many on these young fish because they've not well, been in the sea. Let's hope very not. Long. Let's hope not. <laughs> Yeah, but they, they tend not to last that long on the fish. Alan, can you comment on how many they tolerate? Yeah, so a fish like that, they think probably, once you get to about uh, 10 or 11 grazing sea lice, then that fish can be compromised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Alan, could you just repeat what you were saying about them nosing into the river mouth and a higher yeah, lice so, burden? Um, all these young fish that we're catching, uh, have a louse burden, yeah. but the grazing damage on the fish looked like that burden might have been higher. Right. Um, so the reason why we've caught them in one net full, in one place, is that they're right in the river mouth, where they're trying to get enough fresh water to yeah. clean the lice off themselves. Right. So the lice burden probably has changed their behaviour. Right. So normally they should be out here feeding, um, but they've actually come back into the river to try and shed the lice off themselves. Right. Can you see all the lice here? Yeah. Take yeah. it off that one fish. Three, five, six long. Three, five, six one. Three, five, six long. So you see a big dent in here? Probably where quite a big predator's uh, had all of them. Could be a seal. Yeah, right. That's probably a part of this damage here. So it's, it's really had a go at it. Lucky to survive, I think. He's got quite a few lights. Good. Very good, thank you. How many? 55 in total, right. Any thoughts, Alan, on that hole? Yeah, um, of the net. A bit concerning. Given that uh, pretty much probably ninety percent of the fish had lice, yeah. and um, they all seem to have a similar stage of lice, which are mobile lice which move around the fish, grazing. Yeah. Um, plus, we've caught them right in the river mouth, so they've come here for a reason yeah. to clean themselves up. Um, good thing is there was no new lice. First attached ones, the very very small ones. Right. Um, so I think they've been out, possibly got infected. Yes. A little while back, maybe a few weeks, to come back in. And they make their way back to try and shed them. Well, I think that's the case. Yes, yeah. so they're coming back to fresh water to lose the lice. Right. The trouble is when they do that, is that they're not out feeding no. where they should be. Yeah. So yeah. It's a cost to them in terms of growth.